What's up everybody, D'Angelo here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I wanted to make this video on the top five reasons why people are not successful online. And keep in mind, there are a lot more than five, but these are just gonna be the top five here, you know, that um, I just came up off the whim or whatever, all right? So first things first, and this isn't any particular order or anything like that, but first things first is that people worry about stuff that simply do not matter right so like for example course reviews course reviews don't matter at all and i made a whole video going over you know why course reviews don't matter and stuff like that be sure to check it out but short note people who are going to fail are going to say a course is bad it's just that simple and then people who are going to be successful with or without the course are going to say it was the best thing since cake and ice cream so you're either going to listen to a failure who wasn't going to make it anyway or you're going to listen to someone who was going to make it with or without the course right so when you look at it like that there it just doesn't matter because it goes off to of the individual like every single course i have ever bought has had a negative review there's been some fuck face that's like oh man this course doesn't work and it's always crazy because no one ever explains how the course didn't work oh this stuff is outdated how would they know if they've never even tried to do it all right and i told you guys what an outdated method is like an actual outdated method is something you can't do anymore not something you move from one platform to another and do the exact same thing right but yeah like course reviews stuff like that it does not matter guys it really doesn't right and that brings us into our another one and that's worrying about what other people think especially you know when you're asking for advice on affiliate marketing from someone who has never done anything on marketing at all like you got some people listen to their parents and they don't even know how to check an email right like like just think about that they don't even know how to check an email and you're listening to them about a whole place market space genre genre niche whatever you want to call it that has to do with nothing but the goddamn computer right like you don't get me wrong i know you know um it's hard not to listen to your friends and family about stuff you know but i mean you got to start looking at this like you would at anything else if you have sharp pains in your head are you gonna go to your mom and be like, oh man, I got sharp pains in my head. You know, what, what do you think I should do? No, you're gonna go to a goddamn doctor. And if anything, you if you ask, they're gonna tell you to go to a doctor, right? Because they're not qualified to tell you what's wrong with you because they don't know. It's just that simple, right? It's like when you see those posts where they're, um, you know, on Facebook and it'll be like a making money online opportunity type post or whatever. And then like, you see all the people in the comments tagging somebody who has no idea what the hell they're talking about oh do you think this is legit how would they know they are in the same boat as you right now <laughs> like it's, it's mind-blowing how it works you know it's like something that's like super super small but it can like stop so many people from even getting started like if your friends and family don't believe in you and you're not someone who can go against the grain boom your whole career ended before it even got started just like that right so that was number two Number three, you got a good life, right? So if you have a good life right now, odds are you're not gonna do good in this. I mean, I, that's not saying every single person that gets into this with a good life doesn't do good or whatever, but odds are if you have a good life right now or like you're caught up on your bills or like, you know, like you're just, you're fine. Like you don't have to have like, you know, a million dollars in the bank or even a couple thousand or even a couple hundred. Like you're just fine. You're you're okay right now. You don't have to worry about too much of anything. So you're not back into a corner where you have to make this work. So even if you go through the process of actually buying a course, 99% of the time, these type of people aren't even going to use the course because they, they don't need to. All right, it means like you just, it's not a priority at the moment and then once um everything starts going to hell you know let's say they lose their job and all this stuff that's when they start trying to do chargebacks and you know they start or they try to like you know frantically get started in it and stuff like that right so if you have a good life odds are you're just lazy you're lazy as hell you're not gonna do it you're gonna put things off because it's just simple fact that you don't have to do it it's not a priority in your life at the moment because it's, it's just not something that's you know it's just not a big deal right now because you don't need like it's not something that's immediate like that you actually need uh to complete or whatever all right so that's number three all right so number four is not doing shit just not doing nothing 
And this is like a the, like one of the most common ones. People just simply aren't doing anything. People are like, oh man, I, I tried to make money online. Then you ask them, what did they do? Like, what did you do? Like, if you're trying to make money online right now, just really think about it. What have you done? Have you posted an ad on Craigslist today? Have you watched any YouTube videos today? Have you attempted to run any Facebook ads? Have you bought any courses? Like, have you done anything? Like, actually taking some type of action other than watching a video? A lot of people going to answer going to be no. Ain't do shit. But they talking about how they should have made thousands of dollars. They joined a program and posted in a few uh, Facebook groups like one time. Like that doesn't count. You didn't do anything. Put in 40 hours like you would at a job. And I guarantee you'll see results. Right? I said there isn't a single person. Like literally not one person. I've been saying this for like a whole year now. And not a single person has ever uh, even tried to deny it. There isn't a single person right now, if you are struggling online to make money right now, it's because you aren't doing shit. You are not putting, I can guarantee you aren't putting in 40 hours a week. There isn't a single person right now in a whole marketing space that's putting in 40 hours a week and not making thousands of dollars. It just won't happen. It will not happen because there are only so many ways to tie your shoes wrong. Like, I mean, I can see your first 40 hours, maybe even your second 40 hours. But I mean, if you actually put in work and you're like, okay, no, this way doesn't work. That way doesn't work. Okay, this doesn't work. All right, I'm gonna grab this course right here and then I'm gonna do this way because they said this to do it this way. And then like, you actually do stuff. You actually put in work. You're actually doing something. Cause I gotta keep saying that. Cause a lot of people in real life just think, oh, I just buy a course and I'm gonna make money even if I don't watch the videos. Like, even if I don't apply the training, even if I don't do anything, I'm still gonna make money. Like that's. <laughs> uh, like I said, guys, sometimes that's just awful, right? Just, just mind blowing how that goes. But you know, number five is you know unrealistic expectations and the worker's mindset. I'm just combining those two or whatever. Because if you have a worker's mindset, you will never be successful in any business that you attempt to do. It's just that simple. Like think about the people who try Amazon FBA. How the fuck can you fail at Amazon FBA? Like, you know, it always kills me when people be like, oh man, you know what? I, I tried Amazon FBA, I couldn't find any products. So you went to Walmart and you telling me out of the tens of thousands of products in there, you couldn't find one to sell. Like, come on now, for real. Like, you just aren't doing shit, all right? I know I'm being rough, guys, you know, but some people need that that kick in the ass to get serious. Because, I mean, like I said, if you are not making money right now, 99% of the time, it's simply because you are not serious about making any money. That's simple. All right. But that's pretty much it, guys. You know, that worker's mindset, obviously, that's a, you know, a no-brainer. You can't run a business with a worker's mindset. You're just not going to make any of the right decisions. You're not going to buy software. You're not going to buy courses. You're not going to buy... You know stuff that's going to make your business better simply because you have a worker's mindset you know so yeah let me know what you guys think you know you can continue to list down below in the comment section or whatever but you know your boy just rolled up to the goodwill here i'm um, gonna run by walmart next so you know uh, i'm just gonna see what happens here you know see if we find anything but uh, just a little quick stop or whatnot but yeah guys sorry to be rough on you but like i said some people just really need that kick in the ass or whatnot like like, I could make videos and be super positive and all that stuff, but that's not going to make your bank account positive. It's really not. I could be the nicest person on a goddamn planet, you know, but that's not going to put a dollar in your bank account. Like, sometimes you just need to hear the truth. And if you aren't making money right now, it's your fault.